Hello, 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 everyone, and good morning to you all. This is Ava with Stitching in the Interlake. How's everybody doing? I hope you're having a good day. Well, today is the 9th of August, 2023. It is a cloudy day on the cool side. The wind is, yeah. It was so cool this morning, I had to put leggings on. <clears throat> My legs were so cold. I should have had them on yesterday, too, when I was over at Juliet's. <clears throat> and, um, <clears throat> but it's, um, I can see I'm looking way to the north there, and it's like we get cloud. A little bit of clearing. Clouds, a little bit of clearing. But now there are more of the um, cumulus clouds towards the north. And so I don't know what's coming. <clears throat> so it is Animals in August Wednesday. And this is what I'm working on. Cougar. Okay. I have not touched this since last Wednesday. I have not. I've been very lax with it. <clears throat> Sorry, frog in my throat. So that's my cougar. If Christina posts her picture of her cougar, she is really moving along. <clears throat> so... Okay, let me see what I am. I got to work on this orange, which is 3371. <clears throat> so I'm going to see about working on this. <clears throat> I'm going to just work on this until... The video ends. <laughs> I'm going to pick up my angel again. I would like to say a special hello to Darlene. I just, I was so thrilled yesterday. So absolutely thrilled. I was there at the yard sale. <clears throat> And I have trouble remembering people's names and faces unless I see them on a regular basis. I just... <laughs> so anyways, she comes driving up and she says... She says, how are you? And I heard, who are you? And I said... Me? You want to know? <laughs> and then she said, no, no, no. How are you? She says, I know you. I watch you every day. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, we talked for a while. And she lives here in town. Or... In the area. I don't know exactly where you live, Dar. But it's so nice to have someone from Ericsdale. <laughs> and when she says, Oh, I watch you every day, <laughs> I said, You do? She said, Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So thank you, Darlene, for watching every day. She and I had a bunch of diamond paintings for sale at the yard sale. And she's into diamond painting now. And I, I just kind of casually said, oh, well, I've got some here for sale. <laughs> and... I had two Diamond Art Club. And for people who 
know and understand Dax, Diamond Art Club. You know that they are top. They're one of the very top ones. I think there's ever more um, pink raspberry, those ones. I've never gotten anyone, any from pink raspberry. They're a Canadian company. But you pay. <clears throat> oh, there's another one. Uh, Dreamer Designs, I think. Yeah, I never did those either. So, <clears throat> but anyway, she said, yeah, she said, I went on there and went to one day saving and I ordered a bunch. So I said, oh, really? Oh, wonderful. And um, so then she ended up buying one of my Diamond Art Club's the biggest one that was there. <clears throat> but like I said, anybody who knows Diamond Art Clubs know that. Oh, and Darlene, if you look at the bottom of the canvas or you look on, there's papers in there. I believe that you can get 20% off. If you order again. So take advantage of those because it's expensive. Especially with our Canadian dollar being the way it is. <clears throat> so then Juliet took her in the house there and showed her how to, to work on it. And uh, I hope you really enjoy it. And if you're interested in the other, the other Diamond Art Club and the other one that I've got, <laughs> you know where to, you know where to find them. You just made my day yesterday. Oh my goodness, you made my day. You made my day. Oh. You know, when, when people come and, and they do something like that, and it just, it's such a blessing. It is such a blessing. I was just, oh, I was so thrilled. For one thing, to, to meet someone again, because I don't remember, right? But also to, um, like, someone who uh, watches my videos. And then to um, um, you know, that, that they will. There's a fly here. Got it. Got the sucker. You never knew I had that in me, huh? <laughs> You'd be surprised what I can do. So, yeah. <clears throat> so she took a look at my Angel of Winter. And she liked that too. But she's one of the people, just like Juliet. Thumbs up, no comment. And I guess there's a lot of people that are like that. So, but. So, oh my goodness, the wind was... The wind was so strong yesterday when I was riding Rosie over.
to Juliet. Oh my gosh, I was just slogging it. Just slogging it. Oh. <clears throat> there was a lady who was jogging and then walking and then jogging. And she was going faster than me. <laughs> it's, um, yeah. Yeah, and today is not much better. So, uh, so today is a bit of a somber day, but I'm trying to make it more uh, bright and cheery. It was <clears throat> 15 years ago today that my husband passed. And so <clears throat> I guess it was really affecting me. I didn't sleep well last night at all. And I was up at four. And I was doing my prayers this morning. I think that's why my voice is so hoarse. <clears throat> um, that I could barely get through my prayers. And I went and laid down on the sofa and I was gone like that for just over an hour. And when I got up, I felt better. And I had chest pain and that, and it's all stress, right? So, it is getting better year after year. It is improving. And, um, but it's never easy never easy. I was planning on going to Lyle's spot, but I thought, no, I'm going to, well, I'm not going to do it with it being windy like this. So I'm, I'm not, I'll wait until hopefully, please God, <laughs> that I can get my driver's license back. 13 days and counting. <laughs> 13 days and counting. That'll be really nice. I, I, I really, Lord, I send up my prayers and I get my driver's license. But yeah, Juliet and I, we were talking about it yesterday and it's like, it's okay in the summertime because I can go, I can go to the store, I can do all of that and I don't have to ask her. But when the weather's nasty, like when I first had to give it in, hand it in, there in March and the weather was, you know, then I had to ask Juliet to drive me, but, um, yeah. <clears throat> so, I'm praying that I get it back. So... And I was doing okay coming home yesterday. Um, but I had stopped at the post office because I needed to send a package away. But the computers were all down. I guess Canada Post brought in a whole new computer program to fix the glitches from the previous program. And it knocked everything off. So I couldn't send... The package away yesterday 
And then Juliet had told me, she said that the credit union, their computer was down too for a while. So, <clears throat> yeah. So then after that, I stopped in at the pharmacy to see if my Jovi was in. And it wasn't. Last month, I took it on the 12th, I think. So hopefully it's in, but... If it is in, I'll have to go and pick it up. Because we're supposed to have rain over the next four or five days. Tomorrow, 10 to 15 millimeters. So... Yeah, so that's not... I mean, we need the rain. Don't get me wrong, we need the rain. I think this sweater's got that. Oh. You know, you get those tags on the back there. And the, oh gosh. Yeah, I gotta take that tag out when it just scratches. Here. So. But anyway. So otherwise, not much else. I got my dishes done. This morning after I got up from my nap how's your um, um, animals in August and that's whether you do stitching painting uh, diamond painting uh, whatever you know, whatever medium you decide you're going to do, you know, just, um, um, you know, just go to town on it. And get in there. But I I really want to get my angel done. That's I I told Juliet, I said after I finish my angel, I want to see about making some gnomes. So Juliet actually had a bag with um, fake fur. It's supposed to be for a rabbit or something. And there's white and there is um, orange. So the orange I might do as a um, autumn gnome, you know, Pumpkin gnome, something like that. So, and to kind of tone down that real orange, um, I could put a little bit of like brush, dry brush, black on it. just to kind of tone it down. So. 
I didn't even know she had that there. I didn't even go and look through her stuff at all, really. Not at all. It's, uh... Yeah. The white I can put for a beard or I can put for um, on a cap or something. I have to watch more videos on how to make them. There's one lady who makes those gnomes. And she just uses stuff from around the house. And um, just her supplies. And uh, she really makes some nice ones. It's a little bit on the fast side. I wish I could, I would know how to slow it down. But. I guess the only way to do it is to watch it, pause it. So. Yeah. So it is just going to be a quiet day. I've got two needles that have been threaded. And yes, Jill, I got your messages. I'll look them. I'll look at them after. So thank you for sending me the message. Jill M. So. I, I'm going to finish these two um, needles that are threaded here. And then I will put this away again for next week. I'm not getting very far. And I know it. But I... I just want to get my angel finished. I want to have a nice big finish for the year. Oh, somebody somebody was asking about where I you know would get my framing done. Well, there was a lady here, Doreen, and she did all my framing. Lyle did a few of them, like my angel of love um, and others that I'd had. Um, but Doreen had done the majority of them. And yes, she did the swirls and things like that. If you go to your framer, okay, and you ask them if they can do those special mat you know that they can put little marks in the corners or you know semicircles or something you'll probably have to pay extra for it especially in the city like from michael's or something i don't know if joanne's does Framing, I don't know, Hobby Lobby in the States, none of those. I have no idea. You can go to a specialty framer. Um, they should be able to do it. They should be able to do it. So... But yeah, Doreen, there she retired from it. It was getting too hard for her. And her daughter, Linda, didn't want to take it over. She just wanted to 
sew quilts. But there's another lady, Dawn, who lives just up the street here. And she's taken it over. But Dawn's pretty busy. Because they do the, they have the Eric Sale Music Shop. So Linda would come and help her how to do the, you know, the those extra touches. Because it really does add on to a picture instead of it just being square. Now, if you've got a fully fin, like a, um, you know, ones that are complete, um, then, uh, you know, you do the square, right? But if you've got one that has a little bit of a swirl to it or whatever, then you can do that. So, but yeah. So, they're, they're just preparing over there for the Roger Kimley Festival, which is coming up uh, not this weekend, next weekend. So, Yes, yes, yes. So I'm just going to show you here my, how I, I didn't get a lot of stitching done yesterday, but I got a bit. So right here, see, I thought I was going to get this part done, but, but I didn't. So I'm going to work on this part here today. So, and then I just have this. And, um, yeah. So, and then I have up, up top here. And then I can basically start the beads. Oh, yeah, I have a little bit of fill-ins here to do. Like, right here. And, and right here. Okay. So, but... It's the white that's really, you know, I got to do it sometimes, so I might as well do it. Okay, so this is how far I've got on Cougar. I'm working just right up here by its ear, the base of its ear. So, uh, yeah, I, do, I don't know. There's a little bit down here on its paw, a little bit more down here on its paw that I can work with. So, and up here on its ear. But I'm just gonna finish off these, this thread I've got on here and another one that's threaded already. So, all right, everyone, I guess that's it. Remember, there's the dedicated Facebook group, Stitching in the Interlake. There's the dedicated email address, Stitching in the Interlake at gmail.com. And um, so there you can comment or whatever. Remember to like, share, subscribe, comment. Though sharing, <laughs> one more and I'm at 620. <laughs> I'll take them. And if you're just new here, so welcome, welcome, welcome. So make sure that you just really share my channel. <laughs> anyway. Thank you so very much. I I really love each and every one of you. And it's just makes my heart sing. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be well. May God bless you this day and every day. God loves you and so do I. And so does Miss Lilybell and Sydney and Jonah. Everybody's sleeping down here. It must all be cold. So, 
Thank you, Jesus, for being my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me from my sins. Thank you for being there in my darkest and deepest moments. Thank you for loving me like you do. Thank you for caring enough for me that you would die on the cross for me so that my sins would be forgiven. And that's a prayer I pray for all of you as well. All right, everybody, have a fantastic Wednesday. Post those pictures and we will see you tomorrow. God willing, of course. Toodle-oodles, everybody!